What's up guys, Tim Little. Welcome back to Tactical Bass. In today's video, we are talking about a technique that we haven't talked a lot about on this channel and it's producing a lot of bites for us this time of the year. Today we're talking about the free rig. So this guy right here, you know, this has been talked about for the last couple years, the free rig. Basically, it can be described as a finesse version of a Carolina rig, except for you have more uh, contact, more bottom contact feel with, with the bait. You know, when you pull that weight to you and it connects to the head of your hook, you can really feel that bait, but when you pop it up, that bait, you get real good separation from the weight to the bait and your bait can kind of glide down, it can flutter down, swim down, uh, depending on the different styles of baits, you can get all sorts of different actions. But right now, early fall, late summer, grass lines, this technique has been catching a lot of fish uh, for myself, for my family, for my kids. I took them out the other day and uh, they had a blast throwing a little free rig, okay? So, I know it's not a new technique. It is newer, newer to the States probably the last few years. Uh, coming from the West Coast, highly pressured waters, highly pressured fisheries, clear water, lots of visibility. We were always looking for different finesse techniques, different light line techniques to, to catch those fish because they're finicky, right? Again, these fish, towards the end of summer, early fall, these fish don't have a lot of oxygen. Uh, they've been fished for all year, basically, the last nine months, these fish have been fished for, so they've seen a lot of techniques. So the free rig is, it's a technique that there was a lot of chatter about We've played around with it, uh, had a lot of success with it, but it wasn't until the last couple of weeks uh, when the bite was getting tough for me, when I was fishing, I needed weedless techniques, weedless presentations, uh, fishing brush piles, fishing around flooded timber uh, or standing timber, not necessarily flooded timber, uh, that I really needed to slow the fall of my my bait and that's what's really cool you know about this technique so if you guys aren't familiar with it let me run through it real quickly it's a super super easy simple way to rig your favorite soft plastics now i'm going to give you a couple of mine uh, we'll go through baits here shortly but what this technique is it's basically a carolina rig without the swivel, okay? So this weight, most anglers use a free floating drop shot weight, usually one that's a little bit heavier on the bottom. So some kind of like teardrop drop shot weight works really, really well. A normal lead weight will work well if you don't wanna use tungsten, but you just thread that on your line. See that? Get it up here in the, you see that? Free floating. Then you tie your favorite worm hook, favorite soft plastic hook, okay? This is actually the bellows shad. So this is a this is actually a three-aught offset worm hook. So what's cool about this, and like I said a little bit ago, when you're on bottom, or when this bait's down there on bottom, it's connected right at the head of that weight, right? You can shake it, you can work it on bottom, like a jig, like a, a dying bait fish, but when you when you pop this bait up and you drop your rod tip, what that does to this bait, your weight comes down to the bottom, crashing to the bottom, and now your bait swims, glides, flutters, super, super slow to the bottom. So it's that free, that weightless presentation. And I guess what's really worked for me lately is having that weightless presentation at deeper depths, right? A lot of these summertime fish, these late summertime fish, they are in that 
12, 15, 20, 25 foot range. You know, sometimes they're up busting, but uh, for the most part, they're down there, right? They're come up real short, they're blow up on bait, and they'll, put, they'll push that school of bait up to the surface, they'll blow up on them, you can catch them on a top water if you can get there soon enough, and then they drop back down. So these fish, you need a presentation that you can get down to them fairly quickly, but then still have that weightless presentation. And that's what I really like about the free rig. It's what I really like about this bellow shad too. It just mimics that dying bait fish really, really well. So the drop shot, the Carolina rig, you know, light Texas rigs, those were my baits, my techniques of choice in the past but being able to get that bait down there with the weight quick enough and then have that free floating, kind of that weightless presentation down at those depths is really what makes this, this setup key. It's a presentation that a lot of bass haven't seen. Again, we're coming up towards the end of the fishing season, the prime fishing season. So these fish have seen a lot of techniques, right? So. If you're new to bass fishing, or if you have kids that are new to bass fishing, or significant others that you want a technique that's super easy to fish, you know, it's super easy to tie, this is a technique for you. Like I said, I had my kids out earlier this week, and I had Josiah, my youngest one, he's seven, rigged up with a spinning rod. He actually broke off his leader, so this one's straight braid. But that's a, that's a Rains tungsten. You can see how it's a little bit, it's tapered, right? So what that does, it gets that, it gets that thing to fall uh, straight down. And then this guy right here, this was the beta choice the other day. This is the X zone. That's the uh, adrenaline craw. That is the, no, that's not the adrenaline claw. That is the, yeah, the junior, the adrenaline craw junior. And that was the bait of choice. But again, it's super easy technique to fish. Again, you can fish it like a Texas rig when you have that weight connected on bottom. You can sit there and shake it. You can swim it. But what sets this technique apart is when you get a little bit more aggressive. Oh, tangled up here. Get a little bit more aggressive. It's my kid's rod. I'll have to unt untangle that later. Get super aggressive. With your, with your shakes and get that separation, get that weight and that bait coming forward and then dropping your rod tip and that's where you really get that separation from your weight to the bait. And that's where you get a lot of your bites. Yes, you can fish it on bottom and shake it like a jig, like I said, you know, fish will eat it there too, but having this bellows shad, that little, that little kicker's tail down there works magic now the free rig like i said is not new a lot of a lot of guys have been uh, catching fish on them for a couple years now it's a, a really cool really easy technique but you want to have the right baits on the free rig because again it's all about that that fall you don't want something you don't want a bait that has a ton of resistance you know that that adrenaline craw i really liked it because it does have those kicking pinchers, right? The kicking pinchers, and that slowed, that slowed that fall. So for the kids, they hopped up and dropped it. Now this thing, unlike a straight worm, right? It's gonna have those kickers pinching and it's gonna slow that fall. So it really separated the weight and the bait. And a lot, the majority of the time, I'd say over 75% of the time, when they went to pick up again, the fish was already on there. You know, they hadn't really felt the bite on the fall because it's just a heavy feeling. But when they went to hop it up again, the, the fish were there. But having that resistance, the little bit of kick on those pinchers, again, with that, that junior, was just enough to slow that bait and it didn't come crashing down with the, with the weight. So that was a really, really cool uh a way to catch them but again you got to be specific with the baits that you're putting behind the free rig because again a lot of it is talking about the fall right the fluke a fluke is a great soft plastic uh soft plastic bait to put behind the free rig because you get that dying bait fish dart right hop it up crash that weight down and let this thing kind of 
swim down has directional change that nice swimming glide the fluke is another great bait again that fork tail doesn't have a lot of resistance so it's going to fall a little bit quicker you can play around with paddle tail swim baits like a kai tech or something like that you're gonna have a little bit more resistance on the fall and it's gonna it's gonna swim down you're not gonna get really the the different glides or the different directional changes but um they eat that as well but so my second favorite bait like I said, that adrenaline cross was was money. Again, it's a slower falling bait, so you get a lot of separation with those those kickers resisting. If you don't want that, you're gonna want to go with something like this. And again, that fluke is an amazing bait for the free rig. Again, you can pop it down on bottom, but pop it up, drop that rod tip, let that weight go down, and let this fluke do its glide. And that is where the magic happens with the free rig. So a fluke is another outstanding. Uh, bait for this technique Talked about the bellows shad again. That just has that real subtle Those you guys aren't familiar with this bait. There's the bellows gill. This is the bellows shad a little bit more slender of a profile But that little guy right there that little tail actually if you reel this bait it it swims it kicks So on the fall this kicks as well again it has a lot wider profile So it, it glides fairly well couple more for you you know there's a lot of talk about like the osp the doe live beaver that's a great bait um what else the uh the depths the um the the what's it the the bull flat that's another really good one again it's a lot it's a lot like these guys right here just has that same similar uh type of of glide body shape Again, that's a great one right there. Um, try and get this thing put away before it's all hung up again. <clears throat> if you're looking for like a traditional creature style bait, you know, something that has some movement, not a lot of resistance, you know, your, your brush hogs, I really like this guy right here. This is the Destroyer. Again, it's gonna have some action, right? It's gonna have some subtle action. It's not gonna have a lot of resistance, so you can still fish this fairly quick, uh, quickly, but it's gonna have some movement. So it's gonna have some appendages, it's gonna have some, some motion, but it's gonna have a little bit of resistance, so it's gonna have a little bit slower fall. And I find that that's really the key right now for me, uh, fishing like grass lines, outside grass lines here on the TVA on the uh, on the river swings the outside deeper grass lines popping that through and then just letting it crash and letting that stuff swim down letting those baits swim down that's where I'm getting a lot of my bites getting a lot of my bites um, flipping and pitching to hard cover and those fish are real tight to that hard cover as that grass dies so those fish are real tight and again, your bait's going down, but then that bait is coming down slowly. It's not as as true as intrusive. It's uh, the exact opposite of pegging your your big ounce, ounce and a half, two ounce punch weight, and just crashing through the 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 vegetation and such. Just having that that real slow. You have that weight coming down. You have that real slow fall. That bait swimming down or gliding down behind it. It's just a. It's a. A technique it's a presentation that these fish haven't seen a lot of and they they really like it and then last but not least i talked about the kai tech i want to talk about this guy right here if you're a, a small mouth guy or you're on a fishery where your uh, fish are up chasing smaller bait this guy right here that's the x zone the stealth invader that's another one that you can fish on bottom looks like a little goby a little bait fish a little sculpin something like that but when you pop it up drop that weight let that tail do the kick and that thing swims down and it's money but right now guys late summer early fall we got that fall transition going on we got grass starting to to push back we got water levels uh dropping a little bit we got water temps dropping a lot we were out matt and i were out the other day and it was 10 degrees cooler the water temp was 10 degrees cooler from the last time we were out so that that grass is starting to die back there's going to be really uh direct or real easily seen grass lines easily visible grass lines and that's what i've been fishing 
you know, the cool thing about this technique, it is extremely weedless. There's not a lot to get hung up on. You know, that weight, you kind of come through a brush pile or a grass patch, you kind of work it through. Once you feel it come free, drop it. And now that bait's just gonna kind of come down on the edge of that brush pile on that grass line. And those fish are just gonna, just gonna smoke it. A lot of times you won't feel the bite. I mean, they hit it hard sometimes. A lot of times you're gonna let that thing fall down. What's cool with this, you're gonna watch your line, right? So you, when you drop that rod tip, you're gonna watch your line and your line's gonna go shoop, and it's gonna stop, right? That is your weight hitting the bottom. Don't get real active with your bait. Wait a few seconds. After that weight hits, give it 10 or 15 seconds. Let that bait do its magic, right? Once that's on bottom, you can kind of pull tight, shake like you'd normally work a jig or your favorite soft plastic on a Texas rig, right? Reel down, pop up, drop your rod tip. Doop, weight hits, 10 seconds, 15 seconds. Let that bait do its thing. Uh, but it is extremely weedless. So if you're a brush pile fisherman or you fish around a lot of wood, dock pilings, uh, stuff like that, this is a, a, an awesome, awesome technique. And it really shines for me this time of the year. Again, those fish are out chasing bait fish. They're really, really aggressive. A lot of times if you don't get on them as they're blowing up or maybe they're just out of reach, those fish come up and come right back down to their rock pile or stump or whatever they're kind of holding on and waiting for that next bait ball to come by. This is something you can get out there, drop your rod tip, let that weight drop there down there in the zone and then have that bait kind of fall like a dying bait fish. That guy right there is money. Again, I will link all these products down below in the video description, but there's four or five different baits to fish on the free rig. Guys, right now, this bait, this technique, it's, it's, I'm not gonna say it's a new technique. It's been around for a couple years, real popular the last couple years, but right now it's a technique that I have rigged with me. The last few trips I've had rigged with me uh, every time I've had the kids fishing it, the wife fishing it, all catching fish on this guy right here. Super simple, super easy to catch bass. Hopefully guys, this gives you the confidence to, if not, try the free rig. And if you have, play around with some of these other bait choices because they are fish catching uh, baits. Guys, down below, I'll link all these baits. I'll, I'll link my favorite rods and reels. I'll link my, maybe a budget set up for, uh, you know, kids or, or newer anglers getting into the sport and uh, the hooks, weights, all that good stuff down below. Guys, please leave your, uh, your questions down below in the comments section. I'd like to hear some of your favorite fall time free rig baits because they're gonna be different than you know early spring or, or summer. I wanna hear what your fall favorite free rig baits are. And then if you haven't already, remember to subscribe to the channel, guys. We do videos six days a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, depending on the, the platform or uh, the style of video. But guys, we appreciate you watching. If you like this video or learn something from this video, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and we will see you guys on the next video.